Good afternoon. Welcome back to Pouring Through Life by Shannon Pritchard. I wanted to go and do a pour today. Um, this is a 12 by 12 inch canvas and I'm going to do it kind of blues and greens. Uh, I've noticed in the groups that I'm a member of on Facebook, a lot of people ask, how do you attach a canvas to the cake spinner? So what I do is I take my painter's tape and I peel off a small section and I just roll it into a loop. Stick it to the canvas and then I look at my cake spinner and I want it to be pretty much centered on there so that it spins evenly like so. Give it a whirl, it's not wobbly or weird spinning. And it's as simple as that. It holds on good. If I have to tilt, it stays put. So that's how I do it. Other people have their methods. This works for me specifically. The paint I'm using today is the Color Place Semi Gloss White from, I buy it at Walmart. I've noticed lately that they've had a lot of their paints on clearance, so I don't know if they're discontinuing this ready-made white. I sure hope not. It's my favorite white. This is a super full container, so I'm probably a little bit much paint-wise. Okay, so I modify my pour paint. Uh, my pillow paint to each time sorry every time I mix up a new batch I think is different and this specific batch I accidentally bought the light base I, I didn't realize it wasn't the actual paint so I mixed it 50-50 uh, base and white paint and then I have I added the GAC 800, Owatrol, and XIM. And at first it was just way too liquidy. So I have added, each time I get down a little bit further in my jug, I add a little bit more white paint. So um, we'll see if this time it works good. I've had a little issue with it lately. My table is not very level. I'm just gonna move this pillow over a little bit. I want to see how it's been and it's doing good. Okay, so one of the other little things I've been working on lately is mixing, uh, changing up how I layer my colors. I used to always just put it lightest to darkest, but I've noticed that that isn't always the best method to do it. I get out big boy. It's my big boy blower. Whenever I do anything bigger than eight inches, I use that blower because of the power when it blows in, it just makes lacing amazing. So I'm gonna start off with one of my sparkles. This is Color Art Bling It Gold Sparkle. Let's gonna put a spoonful of that. Okay, I lied, two spoonfuls. Then I'm gonna go Mermaid Scale, also by Color Art. Make sure it's good and mixed up. Such a pretty, pretty color. Um. The next one is going to be the, this is the Phthalo Cyanin Blue mixed with Color Art Bellagio Blue, Palazzo, and Oyster Shell. Just a whole bunch of blues mixed together to make this pretty blue. <clears throat> so the Phthalo, I think, was, Ma yeah, Master's Touch. The Phthalo Cyanin Blue is from Master's Touch. It's just a beautiful dark blue and then the adding the pigments to it changes up the depth 
of the blue. It also made it really sparkly. So then I'm thinking I'm gonna go Pebeo Iridescent Green Blue. You can tell it's a two paint. It's always a little bit thicker. Oops. Then I'm gonna go a little bit of Milky Way. Another blue color. I'm having a lot of fun playing with the blingets. I did a straight up black with just blingets and the iridescent silver from Pebeo Studios. Dutch pour, even though it failed miserably, it's still really interesting. And I'm I haven't resined it yet. I'm, I might do it today, but I've got another project in my head. I have to get it out. Otherwise, I'll go insane. Insane, I mean. Okay, so that was Pebbles Iridescent Silver. This one is called Mystic Blue. And this is from the Dragonfly Wing series, and I love it. It's a nice dark green, but it flashes blue. And so it's a cool color. Really fun, cool color. Probably one of my other second favorite new color that I've gotten from Color Art. Okay, so what I'm going to do, so let's move this back to the center a little bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer again. I really want each petal to have some cool effects. So I'm only going to pick out a couple of them for a second layer. Gold sparkle. I love the gold sparkle. It, it actually reminds me of when you're watching a sunset and how the sun glistens off the top of the water. And I just, I'm obsessed with that. I love that. It's this mermaid scale. And then I think I will go ahead Trying to think, maybe a little bit of the blue, the dark blue, out of order. And silver and... Trying to think how I want to do this. So I'm not sure which cell activator I'm going to use. I have out my Permanent Blue Violet by Amsterdam and Titanium White. I have also mixed up uh, a few others. I just don't know which one I'm wanting to use for the topper. Okay, so that's good. So if you're gonna use a white cell activator, you wanna end with a dark color. If you're gonna use a light cell activator, or a dark cell activator, you wanna end with a light color. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put mix these cell activators up so they tend to they've been sitting for a little while. They can separate, the paint can separate from the flow draw. So I like to give them a good party shake. I'm gonna put down white cell activator first, and then I'm gonna put purple on top of it. When I do when I do this, I always look at the cell activator. If it's mixed correctly, you'll get a halo. Sophia, get to class, please. Hey. I hate homeschool. Sucks. Okay, so it's haloing up, which I love. Now I'm gonna put purple because it looks really good with these colors. It's so it, love it. it, it makes me smile. I'm just gonna get the paint to kind of wander back to the center here. Um, you don't wanna wait too long when you put your cell activator on, otherwise it sinks to the bottom. Okay, so now the hard part is waiting. Don't touch it, don't move it, don't do anything. 
all of it will come back to the center. I can't tell you enough how important this part is and waiting. And it's so hard. It's the hardest thing to do is to let the paint do its job. Let the chemical reaction happen. Because basically what is happening when you put the cell activator on there, it, it's basically a chemical re reaction with your paints if you want to look at it that way. And it reacts by dispersing using the air. And, and it skips off the colors, incorporates the colors, and you get some really cool patterns and you get really neat effects. You can see where I didn't get blown all the way out to the edge. So once <clears throat> the middle finish is collecting itself, I'm going to blow a few areas where the other green I want it to be involved. But it's already working, so I'm pretty happy with that. It just, it's so fascinating to me. And I, I've got a lot of comments about people, why would you spend that much money on Australian Floetrol? And until you've used it, you don't know how magical it is. And I'm not saying anything wrong about the Floetrols that people use. You know, you, you have what you have. And I used it for a very long time, but once I tried the Australian Floetrol, and then ran out and went back to my original recipe. I was just, ugh, couldn't get anything to look right anymore. So, yes, I spend the money on it. But these blooms are my most popular purchase that people make. So I kind of look at it as, you know, if I want to sell my artwork, I have to appeal to those that are willing to buy it. And this is a popular product for me this specific style of painting is my number one seller and i love doing it and i'm proud of the work that i do with it so it's already almost closed and i didn't even mess with it once hard it's so hard to do oh I hate waiting but it will close it will work its way back because that's the way science is. When you disperse something, they must recollect back to where they were unless something is put in the way. So I'm just taking the time to close up my paints while that's doing its thing. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, and I, I was going to put the gold sparkle on top and I didn't, which I'm kind of bummed, but it's okay. Gold Sparkle is my favorite blink product. Love, 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 love the Gold Sparkle. And it's in there, and when I resin it, holy Toledo, you'll be, it'll be blinging its face off. <clears throat> it's just a cool color. If I could pick, a, like, a day trip and go to any factory and learn how something is made, it would be color art. Honey. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow some of the white line over these colors where it didn't connect since that center is beautifully closed.
really good enough. It's all probably gonna go off anyways, but I'm just checking for big bubbles. any bubbles. I just made a big old bubble right there. So I'm just checking for any bubbles. I don't really see too many which is amazingly fine with me. I'm gonna go put this in the pool and I'll come back and grab you. So now, pardon my hand, I'm just going to give it a spin here. I actually put my cake spinner on a little old vinyl tile because I needed a better, flatter surface. After I pour in this a bunch, I don't just peel up the pads. I leave them until they're garbage. So I'm going to do a soft spin just to let the paint slightly move a little bit. I want to see what it looks like. And then I can determine if I need to uh, lift it. And I'm going to go back the other way. really pretty. I think it's amazing how one side turned out green and the other side turned out white. Never know what causes that. photo of a flower. This is kind of peacock colors. Okay, that's good enough. Just seeing if it'll shake off any <laughs> paint drips before I go walking. I have a bad habit of spilling paint all over my house. <laughs> See, drippy, drippy. Okay, let's do this. Yep, as long as I miss the carpet, everything else wipes off. Ah, <laughs> uh, magical. So, what will be my favorite spot on this one? I don't know, it's so pretty though. See the center? It's really cool looking. I have to get this immediate, and that looks like a butterfly wing right there. I love it. I think it's gorgeous. And once I resin it, all those hidden little sparkle pigments I threw in there will show up to the party and it will be gorgeous. The sides all look good. Perfect the way I like it. Okay, well I think that's a wrap. Look at all the detail in the lacing, it's just gorgeous. That weird little formation funny how these things come in all right you guys if you like this video please subscribe to this channel um, share like comment 
I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'd love to hear what you think about what I do. Um, if you have any other questions or anything, feel free to message me through my Facebook group called Pouring Through Life. Um, I'd love for you to follow me there. I also post uh, projects that I don't share on my YouTube channel. And everything that I have that is for sale is also posted on that site as well. Uh, if you're interested in any of my art, check out Pouring Through Life. And I will have a link in the description as well as the name of each product used to create this beautiful pour. All right, you guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next pour. Bye for now.